New tonight at 11, a stolen car sting ends with the suspect being taken into custody, and it was all caught on video. Police say the suspect bought a car using a bogus check and then tried to resell it online. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina explains how the victim helped Enfield police catch him. I got him thrown down. Give me cars here. Give me cars. I got him thrown down. This is the moment Enfield police caught Johnny Helmus Burton. The man accused of buying a car with a fake $10,000 check, then trying to sell the car for real money. Enfield police tell us the car was sold by an Enfield man in Agawam. The transaction happened on Sunday, and once the bank didn't accept the check, the victim brought it to police. It had been written on an account that was closed in 2021. Police say how Ms. Burton then tried to sell the car for real money online. The victim saw the posting, then used a different name to set up a meeting with Helmus Burton and the vehicle he took. Once Helmus Burton agreed to meet up, the victim told police where they would be. Uh, gave us enough time to put officers covertly into that area, um, appropriately dressed and in appropriate vehicles, so that when he arrived in, in the victim's car, they were able to descend into that area. The Better Business Bureau says they deal with hundreds of car scams, but few quite like this. You know, so often we see someone buy a, a car online and then it never gets delivered because it didn't exist. But in this case, the car did exist. The seller existed um, and it was actually the, per the person purchasing it who was the fraudster, the bad actor. Communications Director Kristen Johnson tells Eyewitness News you should always ask to see the buyer's ID to prevent being a victim of a fake check. They could also independently verify that the checking account exists by calling the bank. Now, I wouldn't call the number on the check because if the check was forged, then that number may be a fake phone number. But you can independently look up the number for that bank. And to avoid auto scams, Johnson says don't give in to any high pressure sales pitch. If a deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. And to always look at the car in person. As for Helmus Burton, he's now facing larceny among other charges. He's due to face a judge sometime next month. In Enfield, Hector Molina, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.